Welcome back to the bench. So I was given this partial box of 10 gauge, three and a half inch shells, has steel BBs in it. Unfortunately, I cannot use steel in most of my guns. So actually none of my 10 gauges should I be shooting steel out of. I'll blow out the chokes in them. But in any case, I don't want to waste this because these federal holes um, are pretty useful. They're kind of hard to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop the crimp on this. Uh, I don't care if I damage it too much because my second loading of these, I'll cut it down to 2 and 7 eighths inch. Um, but I'm going to replace all of the steel shot with bismuth shot. So I have some bismuth shot I got kind of cheap from Roto Metals. I'm not going to use my copper plated stuff on this. It's one of their experimental um, production type things. It's a little bit cheaper um, than their standard bismuth. I think like shipped it might have been because I think I had a promo too. I think it was under $12 a pound ship. It's pretty cheap. So I got this thing open a little ways. I'm going to dump out all the shot and buffer. Dump, 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 dump. Get it all out of there. Then I'm going to take my dowel, just clean this up. It's a little messy. Again, I don't care um, really much about how the end of this looks because it's not going to matter at the end of the day. Now, one thing I forgot to bring over to my bench, I gotta run to my other one real quick, is an 18 um, gauge wad. So my 18 gauge wads actually fit in here perfectly for when I put in, uh, one and a half ounces of bismuth in. So let me grab that. And I'm back, throw that in. Now, once I get that in, I'm just going to tamp it down a little bit with this. I'm going to take one and a half ounces. Now, this is that bismuth prototype stuff from Roto Metals. It's number three to four shot. You'll see here, you do get pieces like this. Looks like when I do my own um, lead shot. But it's fairly cheap. I'm assuming it's going to kill stuff. Not too, too worried about it. I'll know soon because our goose season is almost upon us. So I'll put in go a little over 1.51. I'm all right with that. Get this in here. Now, again, I tore this up a little bit. I could have done a little better job. I'm not worried because once I get this thing pressed down, um, after I fired this once, these are getting cut. And these are going to be used for smokeless, uh, low-pressure, 10-gauge loads, short tents. So I'm going to run this through my press. And I realized, because I already did one of these, um, that my cam is not set right for uh, how this load was stacked. But I'm not adjusting my cam just to reload about 10 of these. So not super pretty. But that'll get the job done. I'm not worried about pressure spiking or anything with this. It's about the same um, same weight load. However, it's going to be a slightly different volume because bismuth and steel are not the same. Also, when you're going from BB to number three or number four, you're going to be able to get more threes and fours in the same volume uh, in the same volume that would take up uh, the BBs. That kind of makes sense because there's going to be a lot of empty space between these. There's not going to be as much empty space in your threes and fours. And there's no buffer in here, just that 18 gauge wad. So in any case, that's how I do this just to use my free shells. Don't want them to go to waste. 